as I travel around the world, many people uh, uh, used to ask uh, questions on angel uh, because of the fact that some uh, Roman Catholic background communities um, really uh, keep special honor to uh, angels, uh, naming many you know names on angels, considering angels are very special being. Some of them equal to uh, Jesus level, you know, uh, which is not the biblical, but it's been their tradition uh, for many, many years. Uh, in order to serve them, uh, biblical teachings on uh, angel, I feel that it is very necessary for all of us to learn uh, step by step what are the purpose of creating angels uh, in relation to God and us. Okay, with that in your mind, let us study uh, step by step. Uh, also, it is your obligation to share all this information uh, as many people as possible. Now, here, still is the foundational teachings on angel here. Now, it's been our questions. Why angels are called host? Okay, in in your Bible and in my Bible, your your Bible translator translated it angels and host in different ways. Because he, as I am going to teach you here, that original original words are different. So the question is host. Why host? Now, in Genesis 2.1, which we studied that, Moses wrote, okay, Genesis 2.1, he used the term host. Okay, it looks like it's singular, because in, in, in King James and other translations, just make it singular. But in original language, it's not singular. It's plural. Okay, which I'm going to tell you here. Now, host means, in this is Old Testament. Hebrew means it's Old Testament. In the, in the Hebrew, Old Testament language, host is, is it, don't forget that, it's a singular here, singular. Saba. In an easy way to translate, easily pronounce from us is Saba. But actually, it's not Saba. It's, it has a T-Z-V-A sound. Okay? So it's how you pronounce that. za za -va, like that. Okay? Or T-S-A, it depends on who you are. Saba. So for my... My people's Saba is easier for you as well. But actually, it's not just a direct Saba. Are you with me? So it's a it different sound. Your, your language has that kind of, you know, Saba. Yeah, yeah, you have that. You, you Persian and you, you Kurdu, you know, Kurdish people. Now, when it comes to plural, okay, in plural, it's a saba oth, saba oth, but not oth. You just a silent saba oth like that, or saba ot. See, it ending with in English is s, but Hebrew word here oth or ot. Okay, when it ending with this ot or oth. That indicates what? Plural. Okay? Plural. 
So in, in Genesis 2.1, it says, Sabaoth. Okay? Sabaoth. That, that refers to what? Plural. So it should be a host. Okay? So God created heavens and earth and host means Sabaoth. It's not one singular angel. Okay? Now, this host, okay, now let me tell you, in the Bible, Bible, uh, Bible uh, expressed angel in two different ways. One is host, okay, one is angel. So host, sometimes a host, sometimes angels. It's not different being. Same angel. Now here, in the, in the Old Testament, here, sometimes, is Sabaoth, okay? Referring to angel. And, and I'll give you some other later. And sometimes, some other area says Malak. Malak, same Greek language, the angel. So Malak is angel. But Sabaoth or Saba is what? Host. So there are two expressions, okay, regarding angel. Amen? Host and what? Host in, in English, host and angel. Okay? Sabaoth. And Malak. Are you clear? Okay. Now, in the same way, in the New Testament, in New Testament, some area expressed here, stratia. It, it's a singular. And S, stratias, that's a plural. In Greek word, that refers to host. Okay? Stra, stratia. Stratias. That refers to host. Okay? Here. Luke 2.13, Act, Act 7.42, Revelation 12.7. In the New Testament, other part of the New Testament, same angel translated into what? Angelos. Okay, Angelos. That is what? Angel. In, in Greek word. Okay, let me repeat. There are two kinds of expressions calling angels. Okay, number one is what? Host. Host in Hebrew world, Sabaoth, plural. Okay, host. Or same host in Greek word, Stra Tias. Bible references right here. Are you with me? So let me say again. Hosts are the same as angels. Hosts are the same as angels. Now, therefore, in Genesis 2.1, Genesis 2.1, this one says, Sabaoth, Sabaoth. See, many, not a singular. That the point, point is this, in Genesis 2, 1, it is not expressed in angels, but host. Okay, I'll tell you why later. Now here, 
angel in a Hebrew term, malak, as I said that, malak, okay? Meaning, malak means dispatching. You know, dispatching. We dispatch the person to somewhere. We, he is a deputy. Deputy means what? He is a assistant or he is on behalf of me. He is a deputy. Second person on behalf of me. I, I send him on behalf of me. He is my deputy. That deputy. Huh? Representative. Representative. Yeah. So he sometimes is a second person, a deputy minister. Deputy minister means second minister. Okay? Now, messenger or herald. Herald is a, you, you're speaking out to people. Okay? It's all this meaning. Dispatch, deputy, messenger, herald. That means malak. Malak means same as angels, same here. Angels also. Angelos means, it's, a, it's a Greek word, okay. angelos means same. Dispatch, deputy, messenger, herald. So in our malak, you will see in the Old Testament Bible references right here. Genesis 19.1, Numbers 20.16. In Greek, angelos. And singular, it's many, angelo, angeloi. Os is a singular, and loi is plural, angeloi, meaning is the same. Here, Bible references, Matthew 4, 11, Matthew 13, 39. I hope you understand this. Okay? Now, here, but here, but in Genesis 2 1, Luke 20 13, Acts 7 42, Revelation 12 7. I, I pick up all these Bible references from there, okay? They used, instead of angel, host. Old Testament and New Testament, Old Testament, they used the host. Okay, the host of the host of God, like the angel of God instead of angel of God, host of God, like that. You 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 search your own Bible, okay, your own language Bible, whether they translate it right or not. You just check it later. Not using angels. Why? Because host means soldier and army. Okay. So when you read the host, okay, instead of angelos, instead of malak, then, oh, they are fighters. Okay. They are the fighters. That meaning, that, that means, that implies host, implies fighters, soldiers, army. Now, later, I will teach you more in detail, but Angelus also has that meaning too, but not necessarily on the military sense, but Angelus has many other meanings as well. So Angelus, okay, Malak has more, more, uh, I would say, a comprehensive uh, meaning, wider, wider meaning. Then, then host. Host means limited to the in nature of what? Military and fighting, fighting meaning behind the inside of the language. So now, lesson two, why angels are called hosts? Then, 
Oh, that host means that implies fighting soldier uh, implications hidden inside. Just to keep that in your mind, then we will continue further uh, investigate deep inside of the meaning of angel and angel society. Amen? May God bless you. Good.